a very funny gentleman. Please go for Alan Goebel. She used to always come to my shows. Um, unfortunately, she passed away about five years ago. I still like to bring her with me. <laughs> she was a little woman. <laughs> Guys, I thought my mom loved people. She loved going out to dinner. I recently took her to a dinner party, and um, I uh, left her on the table a little too long. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to her for salt and pepper shaker. Oh. <laughs> this will get worse. Oh, no. Um, she loved going to different places. I actually took her to Disneyland recently. Yeah, that, was, that wasn't too much fun. Well, she's too short to go on good rides. <laughs> 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 California, but we got there fast, though. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, yeah, we can wake up and get things in the lens faster so we can take the carpool lanes. <laughs> <laughs> Sign says two people. Doesn't say you have to be alive. <laughs> now my mom was, you know, she tried to take care of herself. She used to eat right and um, exercise all the time. Then I know of, she only smoked once in her life. <laughs> now my brother, he's not dead yet, nor did one of those DNA tests recently, and it came back that we're right over 33 percent Irish. St. Patrick's Day seems a little bit more fun now, but I was wondering, like, what's the other 67 percent? Well, you guys may have guessed by now, but I turned out I realized I'm mostly Chinese. <laughs> well, it must be. It says right here, made in China. <laughs> now, Richie, originally from Arizona. Oh, quick side note. Do you guys know cremations are half the cost in Arizona? <laughs> yeah, everybody's already preheated. <laughs> Southwest Airlines, we all know how Southwest Airlines works. <coughs> I just get on the plane and head towards the back and grab a window seat. Our flight attendant announces that, that there's only two empty seats on the whole flight. That everybody get on, the, it will get going quicker. I look up and there's this nun walking down the aisle, and she takes it out of the seat. Next thing you know, they close the doors, start pushing back, and then, so one of the two empty seats on the whole plane is one between me and the nun. And she leans over and goes, You would think. People, when I sit next to a nun, I go, well, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great time. <laughs> but now, as soon as we hit the ground in our, um, in our Phoenix, you know, everybody starts telling her, the cell phone's back on. Well, I turned mine on, and I had my service with Virgin Mobile. The guy leaned over and said, do you have the same service? <laughs> 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 Guys, I will say I turned 57 years old this year. Thank you very much. Well, my time is starting to be a factor. See, my son turned 35. My grandson just turned 11. There's the fun part. My daughter just turned 8. Exactly the way I planned that. I was surprised. My wife and I have been only married 21 years. We hoped it would happen sooner. But we had issues getting pregnant. One of those issues is my wife didn't always like my brother. It was her fault. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that she's not here. <laughs> yeah, poor girl. She had all kinds of heart tests to do. She had a you know, blood test, urine tests, ultrasounds. She was poked and prodded in not in fun ways. That was my job. <laughs> now, I, on the other hand, only had to do one test, and it didn't hurt at all. <laughs> you might say I enjoyed it. <laughs> I'll keep this clean, my mom's here. It turns out my guys are a little low in numbers and not too fast swimmers, so it kind of wasn't my fault, too. We tried all kinds of different procedures. We even tried acupuncture. 
Oh. Yeah, my wife got back from her first visit. The doctor said, hey, they can help you with your issues. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, bring those stick the needles. Stick <laughs> 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 uh, the needle in this area down here. I'm going to have two belly buttons. <laughs> and they're both going to be innies. <laughs> well, we had to put everything on the back burner for a couple of years. 2013, we go to Hawaii. We had a good time. We get back, my wife had a fall and she had a pain in her side. A couple of months go by, the pain gets worse. Now, my wife goes to the doctor April 2nd, the day after her birthday. And now, the first thing I'm praying for is a strenuated hernia. And the doctor talks, starts talking about cysts, tumors, and cancers and finds a heartbeat. Oh. Oh. Well, that's what I thought. I just don't have heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually wasn't there. My wife texts me and says, I'm shocked. I'm 22 weeks pregnant. Oh. 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 Yeah, that's five months. Yeah. I text back, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do that. It's hard to text when you're crying. You just lost. I'm not going to get pregnant to five months pregnant. Wow. And it gets worse. <laughs> 58 days later, she goes in for a follow up. Um, she gets sick. They tell her, hey, get the hospital. I get another text that says, at hospital. And 22 minutes from that text, she delivers. Wow. Oh, my daughter's born two pounds, three ounces. Oh. Wow. Little women run my family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she comes home five weeks later. Everything's fine. <clears throat> blonde hair, blue eyed little girl. But I'm thinking I need to shorten up everything. If you guys don't laugh a lot, I'll shorten up this bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I shorten up things like bedtime stories. And like my, my uh, we made a version of Snow White and um, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. <laughs> yeah, Goldilocks walking going through the woods, comes across a cottage, she breaks in, eats some food, smashes the furniture, and passes out. <laughs> yeah, well, the bears come home, they go, hey, we're in our space, we've got boundaries. Then they eat her. <laughs> <laughs> I did a little red wilding hood. I just say wolf bad. <laughs> oh, my, my mom's favorite, Snow White, was one dwarf. I don't have time for all seven. <laughs> I think when she turns 21, I turn 70. But my aim is getting better. <laughs> I figured my daughter would be on a date. I'm going, he put this red dot on my chest. <laughs> That's just my overprotective dad from a distance. <laughs> Keep your hands on the table. <laughs> Don't use a salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm going to turn 75. You know, I could be a grandfather again. I could be a great grandfather. I hope we sit around the house in diapers. <laughs> my wife might come in going, hey, one of you three are poopy. <laughs> Guys, that's my time. Thank you very much. Uh, don't drop on. Okay, guys. We're going to take a 10 minute intermission so you guys can have something to drink, stretch your legs. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Don't be late. We'll say 8.30. We'll see you all back in 10.